Uh, we're a startup microbrewery in Oklahoma City. Uh, none of us have a brewing background. We just uh, decided that Oklahoma City needed some good craft beer. We're under one roof with the whole production facility. All the raw materials come into the brewery. We brew here. We typically brew twice a day. We're making six primary beers year-round. They're available on draft. Two of them are available in cans. And then we have seasonal and specialty beers that we do as well. My partner Mark uh, is an architect. He and I both talk quite a bit about sustainability and being responsible uh, to the environment. And that's kind of our primary concern. We're well below the average of how many gallons of water it takes to produce uh, a barrel of beer. Most of our materials for packaging are all recycled materials, being the case boxes and the, uh, the caps that go on our, six, our four packs of beer. Uh, we chose to go with aluminum cans instead of bottles for our primary beers. The obvious no-brainer is to go with og and uh, win credit program. We're at 100% with our program, and I'm not sure where we rank, but I think we're one of the very first uh, commercial businesses in Oklahoma to go on the program. Uh, Mark kind of pestered og &E from the beginning to tell him that we wanted to be involved with it, and uh, we actually signed up for the program during construction. Before we had the equipment in the building, we were, we were on the program. So we put it on the side of our cans that, you know, we're 100% wind power, and uh, it's, a, it's a point of conversation for people all the time. I think when we talk about our sustainability program, the demographic of people that are into craft beer are already uh, looking for something that's special, and our sustainability program uh, offers that. I think it's an investment. Uh, you pay a little bit more for those credits, but you're being extremely responsible. Uh, you're making commitment that uh, betters everybody's existence. I think you get a sense of pride, and I think uh, it sets an example for being a responsible company. Um, we focus on recycling as much as we can, and it's important. And We specifically went with canning because we're not aware that there's a glass recycling program in the state of Oklahoma. They do recycle aluminum, and uh, the cans also open up a lot of other opportunities for venues like uh, festivals, concerts, the lakes, the state parks, swimming pools, and all of those things. And uh, that's kind of why we put the message on the side of our can, too, that uh, we're using the wind power, and we want people to be responsible. We want them to recycle and uh, focus on, on that aspect of the enjoyment of drinking good quality beer. My impression of og &E's Wind Power program is that they are making an effort to really do something special for Oklahoma. I just think it's very fitting for Oklahoma. You know, we have, it's a it's a windy state. We all know that. We all deal with that in our own ways. And uh, you know, it's kind of neat when you drive out west and you see those big wind fields. Uh, I tell my son that you know that's how the lights are turned on at Coop, and that's how we make our beer with energy that comes from those towers, so it's kind of neat.